All right, I've seen about enough of this. After what I saw today with this whack-ass uh, impeachment trial, I had enough. Here's the plan of attack, okay? This is what they're going to do. These people are desperate. They look like... I thought I was watching a bunch of women at a women's shelter talking about how their husband had beaten them for 30 years because this is what Donald Trump did to the Democrats. These people are broken and they're desperate. And nobody's buying this crap. Uh, some people are buying this crap, but I ain't buying this crap because they look like a bunch of four-year-olds with their hand in a cookie jar trying to blame their little brother who's asleep in the other room with this impeachment. It's a sham. So what's going to happen is they're going to do some false flags because this thing is crumbling on them, okay? So what we need to do is start changing our mindset, okay? I was in meditations for almost a year, and the War of the Whispers came to me. I didn't know what that meant at the time, but now I get it. This is the information war. We need to start changing our mindset. It's like whispers. It's like, it's like word of mouth to spread, and we need to start doing that. You need to unplug from a Netflix. You need to unplug from these mainstream medias and start finding new people. People that I really enjoy right now, Alex Jones. They try to paint him. He is the most banned person. Now he's on banned.tv.com or something like that. He's also on uh, Rumble at General Shepard. You have to start following these people. Tim Pool, he's got his, they're getting their own websites. They're breaking free. We were under a huge attack in 2020. And now they're going to bring false flags, which is fake things to try to set us up. QAnon was a setup. The only person I'd listen to any, anymore would be Dave on X-22 on Rumble. But just listen to it because dude has been wrong a lot, okay? So this is what we need to do to move forward. This is the game plan. Don't just sit there on your hands and knees and pray. You have to start changing the mentality because together that changes the collective consciousness. That's where we're at right now. The astral light needs to change, and when that changes, they can't do anything. That Super Bowl halftime was see, they, demonic as hell, and I've been telling you this. You see those signs and symbols in the back? In the back of the thing, it said, alone. Like, that's what they're doing. And when they were dancing on that field, that was them dancing on your joy. With those masks on, that was them satanic people dancing on your joy. So understand what I'm talking about is true. And you want to know what you can do? Unplug from these people and start looking for new things and new information. And we need to change the mindset. And now go back to the halftime uh, show. It's on YouTube. And look at it and tell me it wasn't demonic. That will open your eyes a little bit more. So that's my message for today, and I'm coming with some heaters. And as far as these little spiritual people and these little demons that were chasing me, they are scared the hell out of me. Tell them old St. Mikey said, what up? <laughs>